maybe Jay, um, what does it mean for the user, you know, like me, for example, you know, what does these um, new materials mean, really? Um, what would you say? Well, what does it mean for you? Mm -hmm. One aspect from the pandemic that we've seen is, of course, in the beginning, everyone was scared, like, how is it with the virus on surfaces? Um, how does it, how long does it stay on metal, on leather, on paper and so on? So here, of course, one need um, in the whole transportation sector that came up is um, sanitization, self-disinfectant su uh, surfaces, self-cleaning surfaces. Um, is it uh, something uh, that will be treated with ultraviolet light if it's in, in the sea bandwidth, if we use heat treatment, if we use some kind of, of steam, whatever. So many people came along and tried to figure out what might be the best solution. This is as well implications on the materials, because if you use massively ultraviolet light, then maybe your leather starts to become crumpy, starts to age faster. Mm -hmm. If you use, uh, let's say, some kind of steam treatment or heat treatment, you cannot leave your groceries in the vehicle. Or, or how is it, for example, if you leave your pet in, in inside? So many, many questions that needed to be answered immediately. This is where the main magic from material science, and in my opinion, the next future will be heavily dominated by any kind of material science company because lightweighted, because sustainability are not just whitewashing or, or greenwashing terms, not anymore. We mm -hmm. have to face it. Um, I know one automotive um, player that started because of these shortages of, of, uh, of uh, raw materials that, that are becoming more and more expensive. He started simply to buy out his former competition. If you have a German premium vehicle from the mid 90s, um, the alloys are different than what we are use now. So the materials back in time were purer. So you can take, let's say, the platinum from a catalyst from one of these mid 90s vehicle and produce five normally or right now modern uh, uh, made catalysts. So they are trying to bypass through reusing, so they are really living this, this circular economy right now, um, because what is waste from the one can be a valuable resource for the other. Um, mm -hmm. We are dealing with um, um, cooling all of our electronics. Um, connected smart vehicles have a tremendous compute power inside. It needs to be cooled. So here we can uh, embed into these systems with uh, meta materials or with 3D or printable materials, micro groovings, um, small channels to cool the batteries, the electronics, and so on. So many, many things are uh, uh, coming into the game. What does it mean for you as, uh, as end user, more or less, is hopefully um, affordability. Because if we can on demand get the right um, right uh, uh, materials for you. It will be an easier thing instead of adapting, coating, whatever, doing some kind of magic simply to make it, uh, but even then uh, raising uh, an overall complexity. So the more you can tailor materials, the more lightweighted they can be. This means mm -hmm. less, uh, less raw materials to be used. It can be lighter, it can be more affordable, and of course, therefore, easier to access. 